to think of Opera on Tap as an organization that is different in every way from other opera companies in the opera field. Uh, we started in the back room of a dive bar in 2005, um, and I don't think we've ever kind of lost that aura about us of being somewhat casual, comfortable, entertaining, and I'm thinking with this production that's exactly how we're presenting ourselves, but in a more professional fashion. I was researching on the internet one day when I was I bumped into the Carrie Nation story. And immediately, I thought to myself, it's kind of like watching Fox News. And I also thought it was really fun, and it had a lot of potential to be fun and entertaining as a story. And I also liked that it was an American story. And since I'm an American composer, American stories mean a lot to me and kind of you know, speaks about our culture. It's a story that's about somebody who really cared for humans and the human condition and the way people treated each other. And uh, her ways were uh, questionable. She thought vandalism was the best way to get her point across. But she, you know, she was radical and she was extreme. And um, so I think that that's a, a fascinating personality. thought it was kind of the perfect figure for Opera on Tap to present uh, just because there's so much irony in thinking that, you know, we'll do an opera about somebody who was one of the leaders of the temperance movement and we're the opera company that sings in dive bars. <laughs> Absurdist opera out there, and I think this is maybe one of the pioneering pieces to present it. Um, and I'm hoping people will see it as kind of an outside of the box production, um, something that's outside of the box for what the opera world is used to seeing, and something that really represents opera on tap. I feel strongly that we've been able to really bridge the gap between art and entertainment, but the idea that hopefully that we can introduce opera to a new audience, maybe an audience that doesn't usually see opera, uh, maybe audience that has stereotypes about opera, uh, and that this is definitely a piece that I try to make as, and I worked with you know James a lot on this, I try to make it as accessible for anybody who studied opera, and even someone who hasn't studied opera, who can have an equally good time. You have a small dream. perception of drinking alcohol. I've never drank so much in my life to get a project done. Actually, uh, I believe that I am drinking less than normal. Cheers. Yes, I never touch the stuff. <laughs> it's done. Never again. I am up to about eight gallons of milk a day. excited to say that this project is happening April 4th, 5th, and 6th of this year at HEAR Art Center, downtown New York. While Opera on Tap has always had grand visions and indeed has carried out a lot of what we have set out to do, we've always operated on a shoestring budget and this project by far is our most ambitious in scale. It's our first full production, which means we have a whole production staff to pay. We have lighting designers and costume designers and set designers and set builders. We have an incredible music director on board in the form of Myla Henry. We have an incredible ensemble in the form of Hotel Elephant accompanying us. We have a cast of eight professional opera singers, one incredible professional actor as narrator, and on top of all that, we have our creators, the people that we have commissioned for this project, James Berry and Timothy Braun. And all of this requires support and funding on a scale that we're not used to supporting. So thank you so much for watching this video, and we hope you will consider it. But get the fuck out of
of our bar. Carrie Nation has been removed from the bar. 